Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. So let's thank our members, we had plenty of new members. We have Brapa1, thank you man, it helps a lot. Ch Chala RS, I think it's called. Uh, Astropub, Patrick Vronovsky, Silami VV and Lafouche. So thank you guys for helping out the channel, it helps a lot. You have no idea how much that helps. And let's get into it, so make sure to subscribe and join our Discord as well. So today we're going to test out a little bit of uh, the vehicles that are coming tomorrow on the event and talk a little bit about the event itself, some tips and tricks on how to do it. But first, uh, let's talk a little bit about the vehicles. So uh, first we have the F4D here, so it has basically the same radar as the F3H, uh, which is not the greatest radar ever, but it is pretty pretty alright. Uh, it has CCAP for rockets and guns for ground striking and doesn't have RWR. It has the J57P8, which is the same radar as the F100, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't know if about the variant. Let's check it out in a bit but yeah and it has four guns as you see four coat uh, browning coat mark 12s the normal navy guns from the 50s uh, not a lot of rounds but still pretty all right uh, very 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 fast aircraft for the br i mean it's 9.3 max speed is a uh, thousand uh, 130 uh, 92 rate of climb so yeah but it's uh, even a little bit better than that a little bit of a uh, uh, armor here plate and yeah the modifications as you see can carry the rockets uh, as you see the mighty mouses and some aim nines as well so yeah if you buy the aircraft you will be able to do custom loadouts with it but normally you just use it with this maybe with the ccip this is actually a pretty good uh squadron battle vehicle for 9.3 sometimes so yeah uh, very very fast all right radar for the br and the performance is just amazing, uh, but it kind of breaks a little bit. So let's test fly it a little bit, and yeah, and we have this skin. So you can have, if you have more stars, you know, you need the eight stars that I already talked about it uh, on the. I think this is the one. Oh no, this is the the, the skin that you can actually get uh, from the USS Forresto. Uh, you can get another skin if you actually get. Uh, nine stars if i'm not mistaken uh so you need 40,000 points uh each two days for eight days to actually get these aircraft and then for one more day to get another skin and then you can get uh the skin for this uh flying uh with 200 golds or 600 kills as you see pretty good uh, pretty interesting navy skin so let's get into it first of all so we are here, so because before we are in the USS Foresto, so before that let's close our canopy because it happens something weird. Uh, and then the flaps are kind of weird, as you see, alright, raised flaps, as you see, combat flaps, kind of goes for the, the slats there, but it's kind of glitchy, as you see, see right there, it's kind of going inside the aircraft and stuff, so everything's subject to change, and yeah, the... The flaps are inverted as well, I think, <laughs> because, I don't know, maybe it's the design of the aircraft, but maybe the flaps should be a little bit different. Uh, and it has the air brakes, as you see, down there. So, yeah, let's put our brakes on. Engine's pulling up. Let's go. Whew. So, yeah, look at that. So, there are some bugs, as you see. And yeah, look at the speed on this thing. Let me. Yeah, the roll rate is not the most amazing thing ever. But look at the speed on this thing. It really, the acceleration on this is really, really good. Uh, I think it's because of the lightweightness of the aircraft together with the. A very, very strong engine for the time. Very cool cockpit. Uh, very good side. Uh, sights, you know. Uh, for looking back, it doesn't have much, but still. The radar there, as you see, we have the radar to looking up and looking down, but we cannot change to look to the side, but we have the larger scan there, and we have larger uh, stuff like this. So it doesn't break, as you see, on level flight, but it's kind of goes to the, to 
1134 as it is in the stat card and it just stays there so it's very very good in acceleration but it doesn't have anything beyond that let's climb a little bit as you see look at the climb rate pretty amazing the engine is producing a lot of power we are losing a little bit of energy here but uh, it is still maintaining 144 meters per second as you see so pretty good pretty good to be honest this is the main thing about this aircraft it is an interceptor it is very good at climbing and doing this let's try to turn it can turn well you see uh, 9g's and stuff like that a 700 but I broke the wings so you have to be careful I think depending on the speed let's speed up a little bit more than a thousand at least IAS and then we're going to turn yeah it kind of compresses a lot as you see so it is an interceptor man it is an interceptor not a very good aircraft in turning maybe at lower speeds let's try it out with lower speeds Yeah, it can pull a little bit more G's, as you see, a little bit more AOA, but it doesn't change much, and yeah, obviously, yeah, at low speeds, you can actually turn well, so at least in low speeds, you will be able to turn fight a lot, and then the best thing about this aircraft is that even though you lose kind of a lot of energy turning, as you see, you lose a lot of energy because it's kind of a delta wing, uh, but you have so much energy, uh, so much engine that you can actually just, you know, accelerate like a lot a lot a lot so pretty good uh, not a lot of fuel if you ask me if you are going full afterburners as you see um, yeah we are already at 15 minutes here but we can always do the the little thing here with the stages of afterburner to actually save a little bit of fuel producing a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of power let's see if I can detect the target yeah I can yeah there so yeah working pretty well I think uh, yeah the ground clutter is kind of heavy with this aircraft as you see but you can detect targets flying low as well it's not the worst radar ever uh, and it's not something that it will change too much for flying in uh, air B anyway because we don't have uh, radar guided missiles but in simulator this can be very very effective so the roll rate is yeah it's kind of you have to be careful as you saw let's restart this but you you kind of have to be careful with this it's just kind of weird the way it works let's get leaning flaps yeah too much power so take off without the afterburner it helps maintaining your <laughs> your your gears uh, but yeah very very good acceleration this aircraft is going to be very very fun to fly uh, and yeah as you see the four cannons shooting not not a lot of ammo so you have to be careful with the ammo uh, in 9.3 together with the nines is going to be very cool uh, and yeah, very very fun aircraft. I think I'm kind of surprised that it is pretty Okay, actually, I thought it would be kind of bad, but it is very very good uh, Everything is subject to change as I said there are some bugs as you see uh, Let's use this let here Yeah, it can turn a lot as you see and then if you want to actually gain just get a little bit more speed and stuff It's going to be very very good in dog fighting at low speeds because you can actually um get the speed bad ver uh, back very quickly let's just land the aircraft and we are going to take a look on another air uh, another vehicle that is coming I'm not gonna s uh, talk too much about the, the the low tier tank and I mean the low tier tank I, I can but I'm not gonna talk about the, the ship and I'm going to make a video on this aircraft don't uh, once, once I get it you know I'm going to get um, I'm going to make a video, proper video testing it out in RRB. Just let's just land this baby. Yeah, very good. Very good uh, low speed uh, controllability, uh, you know, maneuverability. 
Oh no. Oh, that was bad. Rest our gear is down. Let's try this again. Yeah, oh. <laughs> pretty good. So yeah, but yeah, let's test it out the other uh, vehicles. So we have this Drini one, which is the low tier vehicle for Italy uh, as a Hungarian vehicle. As you see, kind of a, like a stug, very low power, and with some interesting rockets. Just let's test it out. It has some some camels, as you see. Let's test it out a little bit. Not gonna waste too much time in this, but yeah, pretty interesting. It looks like a stug, but fatter, I think. <laughs> it has the normal gun, as you see. Pretty good gun, I think, uh, especially in this stuff. And well, let's see if I can actually hit that. I think it's the same range uh, always. Yeah, it's the same range always. Well, that's just not good. That's completely useless, actually. <laughs> let's see if I can. I don't know, maybe. If it changes something, it, don't, it will not, probably. Yeah. So it's a rocket launcher, together with the normal cannon here, so pretty good. The mobility, obviously, is not the greatest, but greatest, uh, but it is pretty interesting. And yeah, it's a 4.0, 40 kilometers max. Uh, here, the modifications it has 145 millimeters at 10 and the heat so yeah pretty all right it, i think you know pretty all right for 4.0 and then the last vehicle the leopard 2 av so very interesting it has the 105 instead of the the 120 so yeah uh let's see the armor it has some armor here that's interesting actually uh in some armor on the mallet but nothing else apparently let's test it out this is what br is this a 9.7 Let's test the, the armor from a 9.7 vehicle as well. T-72 maybe. The BM-22, let's see. It's the, a normal round for the Russians. Yeah, penetration is possible. As you see, ammo rack. And yeah, if you take the at the ammo rack. And here, yeah, basically no armor at all. Against APF-STS. If uh, a BM-22 can do this, I mean... Anything. Let's see at a hundred, uh, a, th a thousand meters, still penetration possible. So yeah, no armor at all. <laughs> Let's see a hit round. Even the hit round, Jesus. Yeah, no armor at all, man. Like literally no armor. Ah, on the melee, you can take the the hit, but you're not gonna be shooting hit at this thing anyway. But in the sides, yeah. Basically, because this is a prototype, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but it is a prototype variant of the Leopard 2. So, yeah, it's not something that changes too much. Let's see the very cool skin. Yeah, nice. Very cool skin. Let's test drive it. Or at first, first let's see the, the modifications. Oh. So yeah, he has the DM23 and then the DM33. So pretty good ammo, especially for, the, for this BR. He has the smoke grenades, has MVD. I don't think he has thermal, but let's test it out. So yeah, yeah, uh, that's yeah. As I said, <laughs> everything subject to change, but yeah, very good zoom, as you see, and. Yeah, the mobility is probably going to be very good. Uh, the cannon obviously is the same as always. Obviously we have the um, fire control system here. Very long reload because I don't have any crew in this obviously, but... Yeah, it has the neutral steering obviously, it's a Leopard 2. It has the MG3s, a lot of them. <laughs> Pretty alright and... Yeah, it's just a very good tank, I think, uh, in general, uh, besides the point of taking a shot and dying at the first shot, uh, because obviously this thing will die very, 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 very easily, because it literally has 
basically no armor. So it's like a upgraded Leopard 1 that it's bigger, <laughs> basically. So yeah, very fun tank, very beautiful tank, but I don't think it's going to be way too good, especially at this BR, but yeah, it has very good ammo, but I don't know. And as always, let's talk a little bit on tips and tricks on how to do this. Uh, as you're going to see, I'm going to post a, a vehicle on the uh, a table on the on the screen right now. So we have RRB, RAB, RSB, Ground A, R, R and SP, Naval A and RB. So and depending on the tier, this is basically how much you will need to do to actually get the 40,000 points. Normally I would do this video like showing a little bit on what's the best ways to do the, te the, the tasks and stuff, uh, but they change it. So you need 40,000 points, uh, mission points, so it is the inside points as you normally see in battles, you know, uh, inside the, the leaderboard in the battle, in the statistics uh, button. And this is the amount of points that you need uh, equivalent to that uh, to actually get with the real multipliers uh, how much you need to actually play. So for example, in Air SB, if you play in top tier at rank 7, you will need only 11,112 points to actually get the 40,000 because of the multiplier. Uh, if you play Air RB, for example, in tier 5, you will need 28,572. So basically this is the way that you can calculate what's the fastest way. For me, it will be uh, closer to top tier in simulator or even in RB, it will be better to do that. And in ground, I think uh, I will be playing if I'm going to get the Leopard. I don't think I will, but if I decide to go, I will get uh, with the RB ground uh, with uh, 25,000. Uh, maybe, maybe even simulator is all right, 7,000 less, uh, but still, uh, almost 7,000. Uh, so this is basically the way. So try to evade uh, AB in general because you need a lot more points as you see. So arcade is kind of bad to do this, I think. Uh, even though you have multiple battles and stuff like that, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, for me personally, I'm not gonna even play that because I think you need to play something that you actually are good in and you enjoy doing it because it's going to take some while, some time. And I don't want to just, you know, fly around in a mode that I really don't dislike. So RB Arcade is going to be off the table for me. But yeah, I think uh, Air RB is going to be the main one. Maybe some Air Simulator battles as well with some friends. So yeah, basically this is it. Uh, take what you want from this table uh, and get to the most efficient way possible for you to do it. Especially if you want to play uh, the three modes, uh, the air, ground and naval, to actually get uh, the point for all the vehicles. So you can do that and it's really hard, but I know. Uh, and obviously try to do it because these vehicles will get a very good amount of money by it in the Gaijin coins. So yeah, I advise you guys to get it and exchange for uh, golden eagles and then get premium. It's always it always helps. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. See ya.